In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and post a carousel on LinkedIn, which is likely to 10x your engagement. So this is an amazing hack if you want to get more engagement on LinkedIn and you want to get more people seeing your posts and reaching out for your services. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go onto a website called Canva. Now what Canva is, is basically a uh, photo editor, sort of like Photoshop, but it's made easier for people. We want to sign in here and what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to type in ca Carousel. There we go. LinkedIn carousel. So these are sort of templates for what they're going to look like. And what we have to do here first is decide what kind of carousel are you going to make. Are you going to make a step by step guide? Are you going to do a case study? Are you going to, you know, decide what you're going to do, what your carousel is going to be about? So for me, I'm going to do something like this one five tools for remote working. This one is paid when it has this little icon here, so I'm going to find one that's not actually paid. Um, let's have a look. At the top, actually, there'll be one. Okay, this one here I really like. I'm going to I'm going to use this template. So you click customize, and it's going to give you a template here. So I'm going to say six ways. Oh. I'm going to make it a bit unique, but six uh, timeless ways to generate leads. Now, obviously, you change all this up, like, yes, not relevant to me, is it? I'll put, yeah, I'll just leave it there. This is obviously not relevant. What I could do here is I could delete this. Um, I could drag this down here like this. Now I could change this to leads. I can make it a little bit longer. I can click on the icon behind it, make it a little bit longer like that. Drag that back in. Make this longer here. Cool leads for your kitchen biz. Obviously, you'd make this look proper. Down here, you want to put your name. So, by easy girl. That's so that'll be like the uh, first page. So, the next thing you scroll down, we go to the second page. So, we can say Facebook ads. Put a little description in here. You can use Facebook ads to grab yourself some leads for your kitchen business now obviously you'd want to go through all of these ones here and you'd want to edit them so that they're accurate and at the end I would I would also recommend like adding some kind of call to action uh, I might duplicate this page here if I can this one probably duplicate yeah so I'd want to add call to action uh, delete this here then I'll put book a Call today. You'd want to put some kind of short little pitch in here. Um, we've gen generate oh, generated over forty k for k for kitchen brands. Book a call to see if we can do the same. For you now obviously you'd want to make this a lot more specific for what you're doing um, but I'm just gonna make it pretty broad right now but obviously you'd spend a lot more time on this so now that we're done we can export this and we're gonna want to click share and I want to go to download and I want to go to PDF um, this one here PDF standard and I want to click download. So this is going to download this PDF that we've just created onto our computer like this. Here we go. Cool. So now we've made our carousel. I'm going to teach you now how you can add it to LinkedIn. So we want to log into LinkedIn here, of course. Go to our profile. And then we want to scroll down to... Where is it gone? 
Hmm, not that I'd, we can go back to actually LinkedIn and it's here, this little start post bit. So we don't want we want to click start a post. And it's not photos, not video. We want to go to this dot 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 here and we want to go over to add a document. So from here we can actually add it from Google Drive or Dropbox if you want to, but I'm just gonna click and drag it in. That might not work, so I'll just click and drag it into my from my desktop. Okay, nice. So we can see it's loaded in here like this. And we want to add a document title. Now this is very important because this is going to do, you know, SEO for your thing. So we will say timeless. You want to do stuff that people search. So it'd be like how to generate leads for your kitchen business. So if someone searched that, this is what would come up. Now from here what we can do is we can just view it to make sure it's all working properly which we can see actually is. We can hit done. Um, we can put some SEO in here so put a title, put more SEO in here and even put a call to action at the end to make people um, you know go to your website afterwards or whatever. We can hit post, we can also schedule it and boom there we go we've just added it and we're likely to get a lot of engagement on this and that's how you do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below this help. Thank you for watching.